Today, we're looking at the best smartwatch of 2018, some awesome upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and answering that age-old question, can a Skittle break an iPhone 10? I know, I've been wondering the answer myself for years. We're gonna find out. It's time for Unbox Daily. Welcome to Unbox Daily. I'm your host, Jason, and yes, my hair always looks this good. Today, as always, we're bringing you some of the best videos from the world of product reviews and unboxing videos. Any thoughts or questions? Leave me that comment or tweet at us at Get Unboxed. First up, it's early 2018, and yet some folks are already declaring some of the best hardware for the year has been produced. For example, we've got Carl Conrad, who's taking a look at the Tick Watch 3, which he says is already the best in its class for this year. It's got a 1.4 inch OLED display, which means it has an always on function, something that is super useful. And that's something that an Apple Watch, which is four, five, six hundred dollars still can't do. And I think it's one of the primary reasons why I have a watch on, it's to tell the time. Nice. Despite it being only 160 bucks, it still doesn't skimp out on the heart rate monitor or GPS. In addition to always being on, it's dust resistant, it's water resistant, and it's got a relatively low price point. I don't know if it's the best, but it's definitely in competition for one of the best pieces of hardware this year, without a doubt. If you don't own a Nintendo Switch, you might want to think about picking one up, because this year, 2018, is going to be a phenomenal year for Nintendo Switch games. In addition to a bunch of brand new indie and AAA platform games that are coming out for the system, we're going to see some new installments of old school gaming platformers like Mega Man. And we've got Kevin Kenson here showing us how awesome the new Mega Man 11 game is. The series is finally coming back after being dormant for way too long. And while Mega Man 11 is planned to be a multi-platform game, it just feels right having this on a Nintendo system, considering one through seven all found their home back on the NES and Super Nintendo. There have been a lot of imitators the past couple of years that have been trying to revive that old school Mega Man spirit. And while some of them have been really good, it's gonna be great to have a proper core entry once again that's bringing back a lot of that classic Mega Man gameplay, but something a little bit new and different all at the same time. I mean, come on, if that doesn't make you envious of those who have Nintendo Switches, I don't know what does. Maybe the new Donkey Kong game will do it for you. Maybe the new Hyrule Warriors game will do it for you. Maybe another installment to Fire Emblem, whatever the case may be, walk, do not run. Well, no, run, do not walk, that's what I meant. Go get a Switch, it's super worth it. If you're not following your average consumer, I don't know what's wrong with you. Because every month he's talking about his favorite tech and it is absolutely worth checking out. This past month, he took a look at any number of different pieces of hardware that make home entertainment and gaming a step above the rest, including this phenomenal soundbar. And that is LG's new 5.1 surround sound soundbar with Meridian technology and Dolby Atmos. Now don't shoot me guys, I didn't get a ton of footage when I was out there checking it out, but I'll throw up some pictures so you guys can at least see what I'm talking about. Now I really like that because I haven't seen a ton of Dolby Atmos soundbars that actually support 5.1 surround sound. So that means you're gonna get sound at a bunch of different angles behind you, above you, in front of you. That's supposed to be the whole point here. Make sure you check out the rest of that video where he talks about the coffee table that he's sitting all of his stuff on. It's got RGB lighting, it's Bluetooth enabled as a speaker, and it's got a fridge as part of it. I mean, kind of the perfect gaming table. If you have an iPhone 10 and you use it without a case, you are taking a decent risk. But it is built to take some damage, and I gotta tell you, folks have found some really creative ways to see how much exactly it can manage. So we bring you this video from Gizmo Slip, who took Skittles, both regular and frozen, and slingshotted them at the front of an iPhone 10, I presume in the name of science. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time with a frozen Skittle. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, frozen Skittle, here we go in three, two, one. Oh, did it break? Oh my goodness. I mean, come on, you didn't think I was actually gonna give you the answer, did you? It didn't break, but it left a sugar mark on it from the Skittle. That's so funny. Okay, here comes the Skittle and could do. And that's it for today's show. As always, thank you so much for joining. If you want to check out previous episodes, head on over to Unbox.tv or look us up on the iOS store. In the meantime, I'll be back here soon with more videos from the world of product reviews and unboxings. I'm your host, Jason. Have a great day.